time now, the national women's under-17 coach, Even Pallarud, is in a race against time to have all his players fit for tomorrow's all-important encounter against the defending champions, Korea DPR. The national under-17s need to win against the defending champions to book their place in the second round of the competition. The game is carded for 6 o'clock kickoff start at the Atterwoldham Stadium in Coover. Astel Ren is coming up right this second with all the details. National women's on the same team coach Evan Pellerou looked very relaxed and sounded confident despite his team being in a must-win situation to advance to the second round of the competition. He says there will be very little change to the squad which suffered a narrow 2-1 defeat against Nigeria four days ago. It will be very, very few changes. The team has functioned well. It might be um, considered change information. It might be considered a little change in the starting lineup, uh, but no big changes. Coach Pellerud added he's battling against time to get all of his players fit for the game against Korea DPR. We have one player uh, in the bed uh, with uh, sickness since that last game. That's um, that's um, Boric. And we don't know yet if she can recover um, tomorrow. And we also have a, a slight injury, a minor injury, on another player that uh, we hope is here uh, tomorrow. We need another 24 hours to decide that. His opposite number on Korea DPR bench, Ri Song Gong, speaking through an interpreter, says they understand the importance of the game and will attempt to match the host nation in every department. We also put much attention to attack, to win the game. Um, but we, we will pay much attention to defense and um, we will at least try to score that we are confident to win tomorrow's match. Coach Pellerud had a special message for local football fans. We have been asked to tell me that Trinidad uh, Tobago tomorrow will play white. That means that local football fans should wear white to give support to the national women's on the 17 squad. Reporting for CNC3 Sports, I'm Astrid Wren. You heard Coach Pallarud there asking TNT supporters to wear white. Well, the local organizing committee will also be erecting a full screen at the ground of the National Cricket Center, which is located next door for fans who are unable to get into the stadium to view the match. And despite Germany already through to the quarterfinal stage of the Under-17 Women's World Cup, head coach Ralph Peter says he will not be making whole-scale changes to the squad when they square off against Korea Republic at the Larry Gomes Malabar Stadium, Stadium in Malabar, Rima, tomorrow. Germany have so far scored 19 goals in their first two matches at the Dwight York Stadium in the sister island of Tobago. We think about one or two uh, new players, substitutes, but... I don't uh, change the whole team because uh, we have a good rhythm in the tournament and maybe one or three, maybe three, yeah, maybe three players new but not more, but not the whole substitutes. The executive of the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board is seeking to prove the facilities at the Sir Frank World Development Center in Balmain, Cuba to allow young cricketers to fulfill their true potential. Now this was disclosed as the 2010 edition of the National Cricket Academy was launched earlier today. Once again, Astral Ran has the details. It was disclosed the inductees will undergo 10 weeks of intensive